Thanks for checking in to find out what you should check out this month on Shorties. Welcome to Bonds Away presents Shorties, a monthly episode in which we tell you what you should be watching in your home. <laughs> <laughs> the monthly episode where we tell you what the fuck you should be doing. <laughs> Based on our likes and preferences. Yeah. Um, no, uh, welcome to the magical month of May. Yeah. Right? Uh, May 2019. It has been epic so far yeah it really has because it's still april when we're recording yes. this <laughs> no it the magical month of april 28th yeah um no but i mean i always like to start this out with kind of like how you doing how you been what's been going on in your life uh so who wants to start you or me uh you go for it me go yeah i'm sure your life is exciting yep Yep, the other day I sat and um, I was in my room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, no, I think I think the big thing that is on both of our lips that we can't talk about, you know, out loud, is that we both saw probably the best film of the year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Best action film of the year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, I mean, the most exciting film of the year. Let's yeah. put it that way. Jonathan I, and I... Uh, the other night, mm-hmm. finally sat down and we watched Aquaman. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> redheads, right? <laughs> Gotta love them. DC's really sitting down right now. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> hopefully that Joaquin Phoenix <laughs> one's good. <laughs> um, I told you, I just want to make that William H Macy meme. <laughs> you have him <laughs> shooting himself in Boogie Nights. Yeah, <laughs> and just say that that's the DCU because. It they're they're done. I'm sorry, you're done. Like that's it. How can you come back from that? You can't just clean the slate and start over again and say we're just going to copy what they did. Yeah, you know, in format form. Yeah, and if that's you, fine. If you haven't guessed already, we're talking about uh, Endgame. We're not talking about Endgame. No, but we're we would. We would. We Endgame. would warn you. We are th- planning on doing a special episode once we see the movie again. Yes, and uh, sitting down and talking it about it. Spoiler talks will be in it, so don't listen to it if you haven't seen the movie at this point. Yeah, and um, <laughs> so if <laughs> if you Jonathan just updated me on his plans for later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you if you are interested in hearing what a bunch of guys who review bad movies thought about this movie a good movie yeah we're actually going to take the dive into reviewing a great movie yeah on the show just just to just nerd out yeah so we can just gush about that film yeah um because i think i think it deserves conversation even though like i'm guarantee we're one of like 40,000 podcasts mentioning it. And YouTube it. channels. Yeah. Like, literally everyone's talking about it nonstop. Right. But, like, you guys tune in to hear us and to hear what we have to say on subjects. So, yeah. so why you guys not? Should, yeah, really just, yeah. That, uh, extra amazing. bonus episode, okay? Yeah. So that that is one thing that will come out th- for May. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay? Don't know exactly when. You know, we'll find the time. We, bo- we both saw it this weekend. And all I can say right out the bat is do yourself a favor if you have seen the others. If you've seen enough of the others. Mm-hmm. If you have a I grasp. Think, I think you need. Yeah, if you have a grasp. And you have a semi-emotional connection to the characters. Yes. Go and see it. Otherwise, uh, I would say you don't have to watch all 22. No, you don't have to watch all 22. You can get somebody to kind of catch you up on it. But I would – here's recommended viewing. Every single joint Avengers movie. Okay. You're talking Avengers? Uh, all the Avengers movies. I've never seen the first Avengers. What? Yeah. Oh, well – Oh, okay. I totally know what happens. I'm totally caught up. But yeah, I've never seen the first Avengers. Oh, okay. Because you know the the first one plays heavily into and yeah. No, I got. I I knew what was happening. Yeah, it's been explained enough at this point. Mm-hmm. But yes, um, definitely you need to watch like Iron Man one two. 
if I mean maybe if you don't know anything because well, two brings well if you don't know anything just start at the beginning just go for it and just like, watch all twenty two yeah eventually you don't like, have to watch the Hulk you don't have to but it's not I mean, even the same Hulk yeah but I mean at the, if if you're go, if you're interested and you're like man I've just missed the hype train but I really want to do it you know yeah, just, just kind of like somebody being like I guess I'll just start watching Game of Thrones or something I guess you know but um. Here's uh, here's the question then. What? Right off the top of your head, mm-hmm. top three have to watch out of the twenty two. In not order, ha- not have to watch in order to understand just your must watches. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. In order of your absolute favorite to your third absolute favorite. Ooh, okay. Um because uh, <laughs> uh, one of my picks is very controversial. I want to hear it. What is it? It will be. Uh, but it's not the top. Um, but it's just one that I just thoroughly enjoy. Um, so uh, take a guess. I want to take a guess on yours, too. So take a guess at one of the three, and then we'll go from there, because that's fun. I feel like your controversial one's going to be you, you have Ultron in there. I actually don't, because okay. I I do not like James Spader as Ultron. Oh, I do like him as an Ultron, but it's not my favorite. But yeah. I did, so because I only hear, like, Robert California. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fucking Lizard King. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, I just, I think he plays him too smartass right off the bat when I'm like, yeah. you're just still, you're still a learning computer. Like, you're monologuing, like, when you first woke up. Yeah. Um. Mm, so you said controversial. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Iron Man 3? It is. Yeah, it's Iron Man 3. <laughs> I knew, because you like The Mandalorian. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> no, because I love Iron Man. Oh, I, well, I love yeah. Tony Stark. I love watching each each and every movie. Them basically go back to the drawing board and redesign a suit that's already iconic. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, so like watching them go from the Mark Seven in Avengers One, right. And then jump all the way to like the, basically there was a giant time gap, and now we're already up to the mark forty two by the start of that film. Yeah, right. And then knowing that by the end of it, all the old armors come to help him. Yeah, I was just like, ah, this is amazing, <laughs> right? So one, I love Robert Downey Jr. as a character. I love everything about him, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, yeah, that one's one of them. Um, I'm going to say Guardians of the Galaxy two. Really? Over one. Wow. Yes. I love Kurt Russell as Ego. Yeah. And um, I love all the stuff that happens on the Marauder ship with Taser Face. Yeah, that's and pretty fun. the th- eye theft and, like, all that stuff. I just – that – and I think that the uh, through line in that movie is stronger than the first one of, like, family. Yeah. Because Rocket is trying to find his place in the group, and and then you have Yondu and the father yeah. son that relationship, yeah. and then Nebula versus Gamora's relationship. So it's a very huge through line of family. I do. I love too. I I, I don't agree with a lot of the people who say it's it's w- one of the weaker films. Yeah, not at all. And then mm, this would be your number one. This would be my number one. Well, I mean, what's your? What is my number one? Yeah, fucking aim, aim game. That's it. Well, man. no, you can't choose you that can't, one. Then, then Infinity War, honestly. Okay. Um, it, it's it's super strong, and I think I think Thanos' through line in that is amazing, is extremely powerful. And for the first time, I'm like, hey, man, you know, you do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> like, if that's how you feel, I, I feel you, brother. Like, it's it's strong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. So okay. So guess yours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what haven't you seen? I've only have not seen Thor 1 and 2 and the first Avengers. Okay, okay. Oh, and Ant-Man and Wasp. I totally (laughs) forgot to watch that. See, this is why I needed to, because I'm like, damn, there's probably a lot. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm going to say either Winter Soldier or Ant-Man 1. As like in In, in the top three. Yeah. Okay. Um, you nailed one of them right on the head. Uh, Winter Soldier is my like number one favorite. It's I a great movie. Fucking love. Damn it! Winter I forgot Soldier. about Civil War. And okay, <laughs> and number two 
is Civil War. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I personally... I'm, gonna, I'm still going to stick by what I said, but Civil War is like four. I, I, I fucking love Captain America. Mm -hmm. He is my favorite like superhero, just cut dry, my hmm. favorite. However... In Damn, we're gonna have a civil war. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> However, in the I, I love Tony Stark too, but yeah. just I just love Captain America. His first appearances, he is a bit of a Mary Sue. He yeah. he's very like just cut and dry, I'm the good guy. So Winter Soldier, when he was willing to go against like his country. His country because yeah. he loved his friend. That was so powerful. Yeah. And then again with Civil War, just like willing to go against everyone's better judgment of what he did um also throwing out there maybe that should have been the second avengers film mm -hmm. <laughs> um <laughs> i feel like they kind of dropped the ball on that um i think the entire ultron storyline and that avengers is the ball dropped no that's what i'm saying is that yeah. i i think it, that it, could have been your after end civil game, war <laughs> honestly yeah civil war is so strong that it makes Ultron looks so weak. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my third, <laughs> gotta go with that Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> Damn, uh, it's really good. <laughs> I love Thor Ragnarok because um, much like uh, Winter Soldier and Civil War, they really set into a character and completely redesigned and revamped that character. Mm -hmm. Thor is boring as fuck. Yeah. And then they were like... And he knew it he, to the point where he was like, I don't want to do this character anymore unless we do something drastic. Yeah, and then they decided, all right, we're going to bring Taika Waititi in, who directed one of my favorite movies ever, What We Do in the Shadows. Hell yeah. And they were just like... There's another movie that people keep talking about when they talk about him recently that I'm like, I got to figure... I got to find this, whatever it is. What is I it? You don't... Forget... Uh, uh, you just keep talking about yeah, Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then they just basically were like, yo, Thor's boring. Natalie Portman's character is boring. Let's just throw balls to the wall and, like, you know, lean into the basically, you know, as Guardians of the Galaxy, essentially. Just, like, it's – it is – and and I'm I'm hard-pressed to not put Guardians of the Galaxy in my top three because of just all that that film did for the Marvel Universe. Like, Mar Marvel mm -hmm. films – yeah to their credit and also to their discredit. They were are literally so, grounded for a long time. They are so formulaic. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, it's just like, all right, we're hitting that beat. And then James Gunn blew up onto the scene with Guardians and broke that. And now every movie you see is uh, like, all right, the formula and Guardians of the Galaxy. So he did a film called uh, The Hunt for Wilder People that people – have recently been like looping in and it is one of the top four on his IMDb of known for. You oh, know? okay. So I'll have to check that out. Yeah. But yeah, um, guardians, it, it revamped the, the formula for, uh, you're making a weird face. Um, he's, he's an actor in the new Mandalorian series coming out. Yes, he is. Huh? He's, uh, he's a robot. He's, uh, one of the, um, the assassin droids. He's gonna be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope he just voices it like like Korg. He was in Green Lantern. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. But great. yeah, that's uh. Those are my. my and he's Avengers. producing a Time Bandits TV series. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. He's wild, dude. He, yeah. He's like the new like. You know what? I really feel like he he is encapsulating again is. Edgar Wright fever. Sure. He, again, has, like, they found someone who pinpoints that very specific uh, indie comedy. Well, did you watch Flight of the Concords? No. You need to watch that. Because I know, well, I know Jermaine Clement right. is, like, one of the main characters. But is he, Taika Waititi part of? He's directing it. Oh, shit. I didn't know that's his thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll have to watch it. I've I don't, I don't know if he did every episode, but, like. Or he's directed some of it. Yeah, yeah. I've listened to some of their, the music, because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, now, take the music. And, and imagine, basically the show is the two of them and them coming from New Zealand and coming over to America and still trying to basically be a group in America, like a folk singing group, right? And them living in a flat in New York City together and uh, trying to get their manager, who is the 
werewolf, not swearwolves, uh, oh, guy, John Reese Davies, to try to book them, and he keeps booking them at like libraries, and, like really <laughs> so shitty places. So it's like places. it's like New Zealand Tenacious D. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm yes. down with it. And so um, all their musical numbers that you know and love um, are part of the show. Are part of the show, and wh- where they're either music videos that they're amateurly filming in like back alleys, <laughs> or actually pertain to the story involved like the most beautiful girl in the room song which is in the first episode is all about a girl that he meets at a party and like it it like becomes a non sequitur where he's singing at the party interesting and like going on the date with her and stuff like that i'll have to watch it or the business time everybody knows business time one right that's another one where like he just imagines that the girl that he's dating they become husband and wife and it's a fantasy music video so there's all these little there's like two to three music videos in each episode on the songs that you've already heard. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you should watch it. Uh, the second season, mm, and the reason why is, and they've said it, is like, yeah, because HBO was like, we're greenlighting you for a second season immediately. And they're like, we didn't write another album. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah. So all the songs are weak and the storyline's weak too because it had to be, like literally tie together. And they're like, we didn't d- design it this way. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I still am like, go watch it. Yeah. Please, yeah, I'll check it out. Please watch that. So, <laughs> also, I don't know why I said John Reese Davies earlier when you named that guy and we were both like, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the, that's Sala from Indiana Jones. What, what, what did we say for? <laughs> for the guy from um, What We Do in the Shadows, the not swearwolves person. I said that and we were just like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's absolutely wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's Marvel Corner. Uh, stay tuned for us to do a special episode about that because yeah. it's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Other than that, uh, we're just gearing up for a really busy, um, busy like uh, developments for the show. Yep. We're going to try uh, starting next month. We're going to try to uh, film an episode here in the studio. Yeah. So you guys can watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's easier to um, promote through youtube because stuff gets suggested after you listen to it and everything like that so we're really gonna try to try and corner that market uh, the guy's name's reese darby so i wasn't too yeah, far John off reese Davis. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah um it's gonna be a cool month uh really looking forward to it looking forward to the movies we're doing i don't know all of them yet uh which leads us into what this episode's all about shorties so, so without much further ado Yes, the first episode is going to be for Mother's Day. Okay, so oh, shit, that's like this weekend. Yeah, you better buy your mom something. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> I'll buy her an episode of this podcast, which is free. <laughs> it's not. For it's me. not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that gift, like you're re-gifting. Yeah. <laughs> Here, mom. Here's an iPod Touch with all of our episodes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as if anybody would actually download our episodes and like hold on to them all. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what you used to have to do. Yeah, I know. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that podcast app. I have to finally had to delete it because it wouldn't stop just filling my <laughs> phone with episodes of my favorite murder for some reason. You can stop that. You I just go into the actual episode. Oh, look, here's podcast education for anybody in there. If you don't like episodes actually just automatically downloading, you can go into the episode itself. Right, and then you can uh, go into like the triple dots up you there, can, and you unsubscribe. It'll stop as well. <laughs> no, nope, don't tell people won't. to do that. <laughs> don't tell people to do unsubscribe. That's not what I'm saying. You can actually say like uh, pause downloading. Yes, yeah, right, yeah. and it'll stop for a while. Right. I was so annoyed at it, I just deleted the podcast app. No, <laughs> because you know you can't get that back unless you actually re-enable iOS. Oh, no way. Yes. Awesome. It'll never bother me again. <laughs> no, don't I'm subscribed do to that. us. Don't worry. No, huh? I'm subscribed to us. Not to us. That's not not what I'm saying. Like, oh, I just use Spotify for my podcasts. You can do that, too. Or iTunes or Google. Okay. Find us on all the major platforms. Yes. Uh, also, people are like, but we're already listening. We've got this. Also, just letting anyone that's listening know that doesn't know, podcasts are completely free. Um, the word subscribe kind of scares a lot of people and thinks you have to like pay a monthly fee to listen to a podcast. It's absolutely free. Yeah. Um, yeah. We don't, you know, we don't make any money yes. off of this, and uh, we just do it for you guys. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll make some money someday. 
yeah. if anyone wants to sponsor us, uh, let us know. <laughs> Please. <laughs> sponsor an episode. That <laughs> that would be fun. There's a few podcasts that have Patreons that have some interesting um, tiers. Or well, they have rewards. interesting donation rewards, uh-huh. uh, specifically. Uh, this one called Wizard and the Bruiser does a where you donate X amount of money and you can promote whatever you want, but you also get to choose a topic for them to talk about. So I would love to hear uh, from our people out there. Um, what would you be willing to pay for? Like, what would you want to to like us to offer that would be worth five dollars a month? We'll play your bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I have to get back into DJing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just show up and do bombs away at your bar mitzvah. <laughs> we do brisses. We do bar mitzvahs. Quinceañeras. <laughs> Mom, I've never seen any of these movies. <laughs> All right, everyone. Sit down. Buckle up. It's time for <laughs> Dragon Master. <laughs> Dragon Master. <laughs> Page master. Yeah, oh no, <laughs> not again. <laughs> um, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. I I would love to hear if you're if you are a listener and you're an avid listener, write to us Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't care. Uh, email contact at bombsawayshow dot com. Write to us and let us know what you would be willing to pay for. You know, like what or like not. What would you want to hear from us that you don't hear on the free channel? What 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 is it that you want to hear? You want to hear us do reviews of current movies, you yeah. know, like we're doing with Endgame? Do you want it to be uh, a mystery science theater type thing like we've done in the past, where we do like you know the movie and we've given you the audio that you can play with the film, you know, like Tyler's first episode was back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, or w- it is yeah, and it- that's the kind of ideas that I've had. Yeah, but- or or. or- should should we offer something through a a a, a monthly type donation thing that is like a slight discount on a ticket for a show but then it's a guaranteed that you're going to be there type thing uh, I've I've thought about that I've uh, thought about that too like but it's it's very it's very difficult because not everybody is local Yeah yeah so it's like, well, I'm paying the same as everybody else, but I'm not in California. You hey, know? that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I've thought about that, but that that would get us to a point where it's like there's a lot of people that can't you know, partake yeah. in that kind of stuff. Well, but maybe move closer, jerks. <laughs> but, but 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 possibly because that's another thing that's coming into the works is that we're building a website. You know, we are. so like, um, you know, discounts on merch or anything like that. Like, the, I we are. Full of suggest, like you just give us suggestions. Throw anything. them our way, and we'll we'll uh, we'll do we'll, we'll look into anything. Absolutely, my favorite suggestion. Um, get on with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all good. This yeah, this is, is very awesome. good. Um, so there is something uh for Mother's Day coming up. Yes. Okay. For stepmother's day. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a very, very interestingly wacky, weird type of movie that I picked that is from my childhood. This used wow. to be on like Showtime all the time, and we I taped it. You had Showtime? We had all of it. My father was a cable man. <gasps> your, dad, your, your dad's Jim Carrey? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want somebody to love? <laughs> Don't you need somebody to love? <laughs> <laughs> eggs and bakey <laughs> scramby eggs that's what he says yeah my uh my freshman year of high school we had to film a movie scene for our drama class yeah and i was paired with a senior and we shot um the initial scene where jim carrey shows up to matthew broderick's house and like i don't even as a freshman in high school what was going on went a little over my head but <laughs> The dude I shot the scene with, I got to find it. Literally, like, fing- it was Ben Stiller. He finger banged <laughs> the VHS slot on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to find it and post it or something. It was so funny. God. <laughs> he was like, with his hands, just like jamming it in there. And he's like, ooh, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I showed it in class. Everyone's laughing. It's like, yeah, it's funny. Huh? He's doing a funny thing to the TV. And then, like, years later, I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> I showed that to my drama class. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the first thing on this list, uh, it will be coming out Tuesday the 7th 
for Mother's Day, which is on the 12th. Okay, so we're you got a whole week to listen to it. Yes. Right? Um, this film, like I said, is, is from my childhood, uh, and it's weird, (laughs) (laughs) but, uh, it's, I think it's going to be a really fun one. Uh, it's 1988's My Stepmother is an Alien. Roll trailer. Stephen Mills, research astronomer. Beautiful! Married to his work. Then one night, he sent a radar signal into another galaxy. Now they're sending someone back. If we don't get that transmission from him, our planet is doomed. Hi. Well, hi. She's got 48 hours to save her civilization. And decipher ours. Thank you. Delicious. That was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I must be boring the pants off you. No, they're still on. Good. We're making progress, though. She's never made love. You're so stupid. We could have been doing this the whole time. We only met three hours ago. He's so and fucking never made friends. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, don't you think this is pretty strange? Marry him. Where did she get a wedding dress on two hours' notice? Did she just carry one around with her in case of emergencies? Daddy, you married a person from another planet. Dan Aykroyd. Your stepmother is not an alien. Jim Basinger. Take it from me. She's been sucked by a ghost. And you got yourself a handful right now. John Lovitz. My stepmother is an alien. A comedy of cosmic proportions. Ha. <laughs> ha. Ha. Nah, see? That's a good, that's a good tagline. <laughs> so that's My Stepmother's an Alien. It will be coming out on the 7th. Um... Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. And 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 you've 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 sat through about half of this film already, right? Uh, like you were going through half of it. Now. Almost tw- 20 minutes left. Ah. But boy was I not paying much attention. <laughs> so I'm going to have to keep watching it again. Oh yeah. It's weird. I want to hear what Carly thinks about that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a wild one. Hey, so yes, um, moving on. Speaking of aliens, okay? We did Plan 9 from Outer Space uh, last night, actually, as we record this. And thank you to everybody who came out, supported the show. Uh, What a fun time that was. It was awesome. Yeah. This was, hands down, probably one of the best live shows that we've had. Yeah. It was amazing. There were were prom girls there. They were. (laughs) uh, Very cool opportunity for these girls that I just saw taking prom photos and asked like do you guys want to take pictures on our set mm-hmm. and they came in with the whole audience and everyone clapped for them and they took pictures and they're really appreciative and it was awesome mm-hmm. so pictures of that will be coming s- shortly yeah okay and uh, we we, uh, we we have so much to share from that but our photographer is getting things together yep. and, and we'll, we'll put it out I promise uh, but thank you to everybody that showed up and uh you know, you, normally we do the live show and then immediately it comes out the following Tuesday. But we had some special things coming up like May the 4th and then Mother's Day. So I held back and Plan 9 from Outer Space Live, the episode, will be coming out this following week after My Stepmother's an Alien. That will be on May 14th. Okay? So this is... Uh, playing from last month's shorties, uh, a reprise of the trailer from Plan 9 from Outer Space, so you can get ready. You're Here welcome. we go. From 1959, Plan 9 from Outer Space. It is safe to state that the grandchildren of some of the people in this theater will not be born on Earth. Spaceships. They come from the bowels of Space hell, titty. a transformed race of walking dead. Zombies guided by a master plan for complete domination of the Earth. Plan 9 from outer space. Woman falls. Vampira. <laughs> Starring that the waste. most nightmarish cast ever. 
Bella Lugosi, the seductive Vampira, and Thor Johnson as the Walking Dead. Turn off your electro gun! <laughs> no! No! Stop him, Dennis! I can't get it, it's jammed! Stop him, you fool! <gasps> Bullets bounce off their bodies. Rockets, missiles, jets cannot stop their death ships. What earthly power can stop this terror? A For a fire. glimpse of things to come, see this blast of screen suspense. For it could be happening right now. Skeleton. <laughs> Plan 9 from Outer Space. Yes. So yes. that will be coming May 14th. Uh, what a fun episode that was. <laughs> it was the, the greatest. It was so good. The greatest. The greatest. So, now, coming up, just moving right along, I did say that this whole year, you know, from July 15th to July 15th, uh, it, this year is the year of sequels. Sequels to things that we did in the past. Okay? That's how sequels work. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, the movie moves on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, and so I've been I've been going down the list of movies that we still need to do, you know, that that are are sequels to things that we've done, and then you know as as next year goes, we'll do trilogies of things that we did, and then maybe sequels to new stuff that we did this year. Yeah, you know, things like that. Um, Unfortunately, the sequel machine is endless. It really is. <laughs> but uh, this one stems back from, like, way early in the show. Like, um, kind of before uh, even Callan left the show. Oh, wow. So this is, like, early episode. Yes. This is this is in the first... Uh, this is actually episode 15. Jesus Christ. The... Uh... First film in this series that they this film is the sequel to. I took a girl on a date. Oh no! Yeah, Why? we we didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So this is the sequel to 2010's Tim Burton directed film Alice in Wonderland. Yikes! <laughs> and I really don't want to do this. No. I've only seen I've they put it on Netflix for a while, and I turned it on and fell asleep to it, and was like. I don't need to turn it back on. But we're going to go for it. Here uh, we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what can you say? Just roll trailer. It's 2016's Alice Through the Looking Gl Glass. Where am I? Let us see. Excitable, proud fantasy. Textbook case of female hysteria. We'll have her fixed in no time. Stop her! Textbook PMS. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. You've been gone too long, Alice. One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. And another one makes you forget this movie. I can't believe this is the actual trailer. Yeah. What's the matter? The Hatter's the matter. The Hatter is my truest friend. If he's in need, I will is help he? him. It will be a race against time. He is not someone you want as your enemy. Time is a he. I have to collect all the stones. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck us all at one minute to tea time. Tea time forever. Hello, Alice. Go ask Alice. Hat is counting on you. Oh no, we all are. Wait. Oh, Alice, you always were an irksome, slurvish, interrupting thing. Hold on, everyone. I don't want to hold on. This is just a shot of 
Cheshire Cat in the water is supposed to be... Oh no, not again! Sorry! Jesus Christ, that was gruesome! Humpty Dumpty just fucking died in this trailer! <laughs> yeah. The biggest... Oh my god, look, it's a video of the biggest star, the green screen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> God, I hated everything about the first one. I I hated, um, I I really hated Helen Bottom Carter in that. I yeah, still do. Yeah, I hate her bobblehead. <laughs> yeah. They were like, "Yeah, can you just make her a Funko already before we make a Funko?" Yeah, the that um the first Alice in Wonderland almost stopped me from being excited about Crimson Peak. Oh, <laughs> but then fair. I liked Crimson Peak a lot, so it, it was good. <laughs> it's all right. So. You can see the the twist coming a mile away, but it's still a, like it's worthy. To yeah, watch. it's good. It's like a, it's like a new Hammer film. Yeah. So, uh, we still have one more announcement to come up. Okay, uh, the live show is going to come out that Friday that this episode comes out. This episode will come out on the twenty first, and then Friday the twenty fourth, we're having another live episode. Joining uh, joining us on stage will be our friends from the Grind Bin podcast, which you should go over and listen to. Yes. Okay. They uh, are our neighbors. Yes. Give our us actual a cup of sugar. Local neighbors. And, but you can go over and you can listen to us on the Grind Bin podcast in their Christmas episode, Don't Open Till Christmas. And then you can listen to them on our Christmas episode that we did last year, which is Santa's Sleigh. Okay, so you should actually go and check out these episodes and see what these guys are all about. Santa's sleigh is uh, the it says Christmas 2018 episode 88 for us, which is Santa's sleigh. And go check out those episodes. Uh, get a little nostalgic for Jared because he's in those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wish you. It's almost like I can still hear him. <laughs> That was fun. I wish he wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> wish that car wouldn't have gotten to him. <laughs> wish the sundown on his heart hadn't happened. <laughs> now the only roses are the <laughs> the roses of his rosy cheeks. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this this will be a team up between two podcasts on one stage. So please, if you're in the Santa Ana area, please come and join us for this episode. A uh, very special presentation. They picked it, um, and I it's a huge favorite of mine growing up, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's 1987's The Running Man. Roll trailer. In the year 2017, an innocent man accused of a crime has a choice. Hard time or prime time. Sensational. Perfect contestant. I want him. He must pay or play the running man. On your mark! I'll be back. Go! The highest rated TV show in history. Because they want us to stay. It's a game between life and death. Between life and death? <laughs> Purgatory. Can you lift? Arnold Schwarzenegger is... The Running Man. He's playing for a prize. The prize is his life. How about the life? The Running Man. I love this movie. I have never seen this movie. No? But... Am incredibly hyped about it. Yeah, um, I love the concept of like fighting to the death in an arena for a TV show. Mm -hmm. But I also, 
uh, Carly can attest to this if anyone wants to ask her. My favorite type of like film story is how far you're willing to go to like survive. Sure. <laughs> I love anything like that. Like anyone who's willing to do like fucked up stuff just to live. Mm hmm. And that's, that's, uh, yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. They basically just like blackmail him and force him to compete. Oh. Yeah. Do they freeze him and then he has to come back and then he has to fight Simon Phoenix and then. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, like, this is going to be very hard for me to, like, truly dive into and make fun of. I, there are bullet points around me, like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense and, like, that too. But this is going to be my, like, how people were very, like, torn on Demolition Man. You know, this is going to be it for me because I've seen this movie so many times and I love it. The soundtrack is an amazing 80s synth soundtrack oh, yeah. done by the same uh, director. I mean, same mu musical composer as uh, like Fletch. <laughs> and um, Interesting. And, jeez, uh, I totally just blanked on it. But, like, he, he's done a lot of great scores over over his time. Yeah. and um, I'm stoked for this. Yeah. Did you notice that? Uh, that trailer used the Alien score as the trailer. Yeah. Yep. That was weird. Yep. That was Aliens. Also said that um, the, you actually uh, said the title incorrectly. The title is actually Arnold Schwarzenegger is r the Running Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the full thing that shows up. I was like in the trailer when it's like, <laughs> it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Running Man, and he's like running as they say that, and he gets netted. It's just like, <laughs> all right, a little on the nose, but dripping cool. man, Tr netted man, <laughs> yeah, buff he, man. He's running throughout this whole film, and that's the shot that they used. Yeah, it was like him, like on the run before he's in the game. Also, that I'll be back. Oh, but it has the best like comeback line to it. Okay, I'll have to hear it once we do the thing. Oh, you don't want me to tell No, me? don't spoil okay. it. Okay. I want to be like, <gasps> it is the best comeback to I'll Be Back that's ever, I think, ever been done. Have, other than, have you seen The Last Action Hero? Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, that one, that one is good because it makes fun of being like, that's your catchphrase. That's what you're supposed to say. He's like, why would I say that? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, where am I coming back from? God, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's, he's Remember super Remember when he fun. ruined our state? No, because I wasn't here yet. Oh, that's right. And um, if you I, – I don't normally uh, recommend uh, – I forget what the podcast is because I don't really care for him. Uh, damn it. Uh, I'm sorry because I'm blanking on it, and I feel like everybody should go listen to it. So maybe I'll be able to post a link and stuff and be like, this is what I was talking about. Um, but he did an interview uh, long after. Like he was already back in the business. Uh, I think it was like last year or something on a podcast in which I was told to listen to this episode just to like get a, a different feel for that perspective of when you're saying, remember when he ruined the state. And he goes on the most compassionate – like like rant on there not a rant rant sounds like he's like loony about yeah, it, yeah, right yeah. but just like just just passionate statements of being like look i literally just fell into a hole that was that entire problem yeah, yeah. right and had to fix it and had to make sacrifices that made me look bad for your benefit yeah, you well, know? he's kind of redeemed himself now. He's oh, kind of absolutely. a really cool political figure now. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, it, it, it's funny. I would do what they say they do in Demolition Man, and 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 and, and, and uh, what's it? Revise the Constitution and vote for that man <laughs> <laughs> for president. President Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I, but, yeah. <laughs> I was I was elected to lead, not read. <laughs> 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 oh man! And then, and then, like if he's only a one-term president, I just want him to say, "I'll be back." <laughs> because it, it, I don't know how that works. Like, if you were a one-term president, could you literally get voted out, but then be like, "I can come back"? For yes. Me? Can you? Yes. Oh, then I definitely want that. <laughs> I'll be back. And they're like, "What?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. It's fine. <laughs> Eight years later, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he did say he would be back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's 102. <laughs> Looks 60 top. He's just so fucking ripped still. <laughs> oh, man. He beats uh, up Bernie Sanders. I don't know how it's going to be, but uh, I'll still watch it. He's making that Terminator 6. 
Yeah, the one that completely ignores Terminator Genesis. Why, though? I actually like that movie. I did, too. Uh, I do feel like it's Cardinal Sin was completely spoiling in the trailer to that the John Connor, John Connor was. Yeah. yeah, that was like, yikes. You guys couldn't have held it close. Also, like... Yeah, just keep showing him fighting the T-1000. Yeah, Linda Hamilton looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time has not been kind. So anyway, folks, that uh, just about does it for us here. <laughs> <laughs> a good note to end on. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing, telling your friends, sharing on Instagram, like shots of the episodes, things like that. It really does help. I'm telling you, we had our, uh, to finish it off on a positive note, we had our biggest month ever. <gasps> Wow. Okay. Over 1,200 downloads. Holy shit. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Our mo- our top, t- our, our, our biggest one before this was last May 2018 with 975 downloads. Oh, wow. So, so we, we not only passed it. Yeah, we blew past it. And uh, that's because of you guys out there. Yeah. Audio editor, add in a applause sound effect here. Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That's me. So I won't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome uh, that feels really good it does we're it doing really God's does. work here absolutely so thank you so much uh, and we're gonna we're gonna blow past that too we're gonna keep going oh yeah and it's because we're of coming you guys. for a million next month coming for you <laughs> one million <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> one million that's a wow that's a pretty <laughs> high stake I would shoot for 15 that'd be nice 15 15 we're at 12 let's shoot for 15 you're talking like Hundred. Oh, I thought you meant like fifteen. <laughs> I will. I will take fifteen downloads. Anything in the low teens is good with me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep the momentum going. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Uh, this is a good show to support. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, join us this week for my stepmother's an alien. Okay. I'm Jonathan. I'm Tyler. And we still don't have an outro. See ya. This has been a production of Big Bulb Entertainment, executive produced by Jonathan Young. For more media and information, visit us at www.bigbulbentertainment.com. Big Bulb. What's your bright idea?